there I am back with another process video for you and this is for my Hey Little Magpie blog post up on their blog this month I'll leave the link below for that and this month I am looking at um, using some Photoshop um, templates in order to print lots of photos you know I'm quite quite happy to put as many photos as I possibly can on a layout um, I think this one has 32 photos on and I normally do my photo collages on my phone but this one um, I was trying to use a lot of photos that I had on my laptop um, which I downloaded off my phone throughout the year and so I found this template and it was on the coffee shop blog I believe that's what it's called I will put a link below and I'll also mention it in my blog post um, and this is actually used um, it's the same size as the Facebook header um, photos if you use Facebook you'll know what I mean and so all I did was resize and um, put these photos into that um, template and I'm really happy with how, how it um, came out um, and this layout is called um, as you see from the title of this video the hair review so this is the variety of hairs and wigs that um, hairstyles and wigs and stuff that I've had throughout 2014. Um, I did this, I did it last year as well, um, or maybe it was the year before. Um, and I just think it's a fun way to kind of like, you know, just wrap up the year. And I really love the idea of doing like quite a few of these um, montages of different things and putting them all on a layout. Um, I've just mounted it up on a black piece of paper that I had on my desk. It was a scrap, I believe it was. Uh, a piece of stamping up Halloween paper from like last year um, but I just wanted something black to mount that photo on I'm using a piece of Maggie Holmes um, as the background with all the specs on I then got a piece of um, Ellie Studio um, which is that pink feather paper and I'm using that to mount my whole layout on um, as well as use it for um, sort of embellishment on the page and then that love paper is from the Amy Tan Stitched collection. Um, as I've kind of been sort of tidying up towards the end of the year now, I've been kind of looking at all the little odds and bits I've got on my desk. Um, I had quite a few of these Chamel die cuts, um, just in little bags, so I'm trying to use those up. So I've picked a lot of those out, and I'm just going to be using them to layer um, over my different clusters here. Um, I've also pulled out that 14 which is wood veneers and I was planning on using that um, either on my Scottish album or in my December daily and didn't get used for either of those. Um, I've had these bits again um, in my sash for quite a while. Um, the flamingos and those lights are from Jilly Bean Soup and so that's just a die cut pack and I'm just picking those out. There's also some simple stories there from the I think it was homespun collection um, so these have been kind of kicking around for quite a while and I'm just trying to find out a variety of things that I can layer up um, to add on here and I'm kind of basically got the placement there um, how I want it I just want to add a little bit of color and texture to this background so of course I'm going to pull out my mists and I'm going to be using the dilutions bubblegum pink um, I'm also then going to be using the Heidi Swap, I think it's called Coral, it's the one I use all the time. And um, I also then just use some black as well. I haven't used my mist for a while, so I just had to dig those out of that box there where I keep them all. And I haven't done like a 12 by 12 layout for probably about three weeks, no probably even more than that, but probably about four weeks. So. This one did take me quite a while, it took me about an hour and a quarter. Um, I was doing, you know, I was listening and watching stuff and doing other things, so... Um, but yeah, it, I wasn't kind of necessarily in the mindset straight away, so this was kind of a bit of a warm-up layout. I just used um, the wet cement ink there and rubbed it through um, a sort of hole punch polka dot stencil, just to add a little bit more texture. And then I'm just going to use that ink to... Um, ink everything up. Um, I really enjoyed inking all the edges of everything in my December daily and I think that's going to be 
something I'm going to carry on doing for a while. Um, I either do do it or don't do it. It kind of goes in stages. So I'm just going to ink up all those die cuts now to save me doing it at later dates. And as I said, it just helps because these are all from different collections as well. Some are on cream base, some are on white base. It just kind of helps everything hopefully um, sit together quite well. Um, yeah, I'm. it's a real kind of hodgepodge of bits here, but I really love how the layout turned out. Um, it wasn't necessarily how I envisioned it because it was quite busy, but um, yeah, I think with the lots of photos and the busy background, it's kind of quite me. <laughs> So I've just picked up this wood veneer 14 and I'm just using that um, metallic stain. Um, I think it's called something brass. I've talked about it before um, and I just wanted it to just take some of the wood. It, the wood still shows through. I can't even talk. Um, the wood still shows through but it kind of just adds that metallic sheen. So I'm just going to ink the edges of this paper as well um, because I'm going to mount it on the other one. and. Um, and then I'm going to rub some of this gold through that stencil as well and then kind of rub the reverse on as well um, and as always most of this actually gets covered up so um, but yeah it just adds a little bit of grounding um, to where I'm going to place everything so I'm going to start sticking things down and as I said I just used black for that piece um, that mount just because it um, really kind of made that photo pop and this is a very very vain egocentric <laughs> narcissistic layout but I'm all good with that um, <laughs> so yeah uh, I just think it's funny but I'm sure some people will just like it but hey ho um, I do just want to thank everyone for all their amazing comments um, that you've left me I have tried to reply to everyone um, and there's still probably a few people I need to reply to, but um, it really, really means a lot to me and all your comments. Um, I will be having my resolution video up, um, but that's going to be coming up um, next week because, of course, um, my blog post goes up on the 3rd of the month over um, on Hey Little Magpie, so um, I just wanted to put these layouts up to correspond with that. Um, but don't worry, um, I will be putting up at some point. So here I'm just kind of fiddling around with how I can get everything to work. I don't want to cover up too many of the photos. I mean, I'm not too bothered if some get covered up. But, um... Sorry guys, my computer and everything stopped there. Um, yeah, I'm not too bothered if some of the photos get covered up. But I want, you know, to not try and cover too many up and I really like those flamingos I've had for a while um, and I really just wanted to use them on this layout because I like flamingos and I kind of thought you know these photos are kind of <laughs> quite bright and things and I think it just kind of went with the kind of kitsch feel of it really I did play around a lot with that um, bit at the top and I couldn't get that banner to work so I've just chucked that on my desk and maybe it'll get on there another time I've just picked down a couple of bits from the cut apart sheet from the Serendipity paper pad from Dear Lizzie. And I've just used that to cut a banner out there. Um, so I'm just tucking that little flamingo behind. And now I'm just, as I say, cutting some banner pieces out, which I'm going to then add to the bottom. I know um, I want to put my title there at the bottom as well. And I also know that this piece does not really need any journaling at all because the title is going to say it all. So now I'm going to bring in all of my die cuts again and start to layer those up. Um, I did have problems trying to use some of those home swim ones because the colours were a little bit off but eventually after lots of fussing around you're going to see me actually get these in a pretty decent placement. Um, it just took quite a while and I stuck that little um, bit down from the Chamel collection. Um, I stuck it out first and actually then had to peel it up so I could stick other bits down, as is always the case. So I knew I wanted to stick my little flamingo down there as well. And really I'm just going to kind of, you know, create a sort of diagonal um, embellishment cluster across 
you know, the layout there from top to bottom. And this is, a, you know, something I do quite often. Um, there is, as I say, a lot of colour on this layout, and I think that's why these kind of embellishments, which are kind of quite um, random, really, kind of go with all the random looks that I've had this year. Um, but yeah, I think it works. There was a couple of times here, as I said, because I hadn't scrapped um, that mo you know, I hadn't done travel by travel out front. I was just like, what am I doing? This is not working. And you'll see me kind of like really kind of forced to try and get some of the bits on the layout here. Um, and yeah, it just, it takes it takes a while to get there, um, but I'm happy, you know, where it gets. And I kind of realise my stash is like really disorganised because I've mainly just been using the Christmas stuff, so everything else has just kind of just been pushed aside. And yeah, trying to find like alphas and stuff like that was a nightmare. But well, with me, I've got too much stuff. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get much sympathy. <laughs> but you know, I'm drowning in paper pads. But yeah, so I'm just trying to use bits up and as always I've got you know <laughs> piles and piles of paper and I'm cutting up using tiny little scraps on my desk as is always the way so <laughs> I just cut another piece of that serendipity paper just to cut another little banner out there just to fill in some of the awkward spaces that there are on this layout um, where I've clustered a lot of strange little shapes like you've got circles you've got squares you've got those die cut sort of specks you've got that um, from being stuff, there's a few little odd spaces, so I just wanted to make sure they were filled. Um, that little string of bulbs never actually gets on there, um, and it it doesn't necessarily go with this, but it was from the jelly bean soup collection. I just wanted to get it used up, so um, that's now just gonna go in the bin. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, as I said, I fuss a lot, and that's something that you know, last year especially, I tried to really not do too much. I tried to just, you know, stick it down, commit to it, and then move on. Um, because, you know, you can always peel it off if you need to, but actually, it's easier just to, you know, stick it down and move on. So I'm just um, having a little play around here, and I'm just using some wet glue, and um, I just have to hack a hole into my glossy accents bottle just to get the last of that glue out and I'm now going to just use um, some of the stamping up um, dimensional adhesive and I'm just putting a few little bits up on um, dimension there is a lot of dimension just because there's a lot of layers there um, so I thought I might as well just pop it up where it's sticking up anyway um, I did just pull out my flare tin to the side there because I decided that actually as I'd kind of got a little bit of height in it, I could maybe put some flare on as well, and that would just add a little bit more, um, you know, sparkle and stuff. Sparkle? Yeah, it is sparkle. That's what I meant because <laughs> I put a sparkly thing on. Um, I'm now trying to place those numbers and just putting, trying to work out where I'm going to put them. I was going to put them to the top originally, um, but the side there is a little bit of gap there over to the side of that photo, so I'm just going to end up sticking them there and trying to get some glue out of that bottle um, and said I will not be buying glossy accents again because it just clogs up and it's a nightmare and I really like um, the other glue I use so here's me just going through this tin just trying to find any flare or any embellishments that will work and I do end up pulling out a couple of um, different flare badges and also some little um, what are they called cabochon kind of flowers as well um, and they are ones that I believe are paper mania ones that I bought quite cheaply from Ducraft, I think they might be Ducrafts um, but they've just been sitting in my tin for a while and I thought hang on let's just get them on this layout um, they're not two dimensional um, I do have some in that pot there that are ridiculously dimensional so um, and I just thought it's going to add another little bit of texture because they're slightly glossy as well so really happy with um, how they're going to look and I'm doing something I haven't used very much and this is glue dots um, and these are just really cheap glue dots I found them um, when I was going through some stuff and actually they work quite well for sticking these cabochons down um, I had to double a couple of them up but they also stuck my flare down as well 
so I was really happy with that. Um, I love that little polka dot um, flare up there, that is from Hey Little Magpie as well. So, and again, that just adds another little bit of gold there. You've got the gold in the title, um, in the 14 as well, and I do then add some gold into the title. Um, I'm just adding a little bit more um, mist over the top. I'm just covering up my main photo there. But as always, I do get some mist on my photo, and I'm not too bothered about it, really. So, um, the alphas that I decide to use are these Dear Lizzie ones, and I also pull out these Maggie Holmes ones. Um, and again, this is to put 2014 on, and I've already got the 14 there as well. But I wanted to put it on again. I was going to put that at the top, but I decided to bring it down to where I'm going to put my title as well. Um, I really like these Dear Lizzie um, alphas because you do have the um, capital and the lowercase letters. I decide to use all of the um, capital uppercase letters. And I'm just going to place my title here. And as I said, that is the hair review. Um, as I said, I have done a layout like this before. Um, and I kind of quite like the idea of doing like a repetitious title that each year I'm going to have this kind of look in my um, albums. Um, and as I said, I've probably scrapped most, if not all, of these photos um, in some form or another. Because, as we all know, I, you know, I do love scrapping a selfie. Um, a few of those, the later ones um, at the bottom, I have done them in chronological order. So the first one photo there is the first selfie I took in 2014, and then it's worked through to the last photo was taken on Boxing Day this year which is the 26th for you guys who in the states who don't have boxing day and so i think that just kind of worked really well and i really love how that photo um has come out so i hope you've enjoyed this layout i said it was probably a little bit painful to watch at some points because you like just put the blooming bits down and stop fussing but um i promise that you know i'm gonna get better at this <laughs> um, i'm gonna get back into the swing of it um, I do have another couple of layouts coming up for this blog post this month, so they will be up on my channel later this week. Um, again, I want to thank you all for watching and thank you all for the thumbs up, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.